This week, the Australian dollar traded from around 74 and a quarter to 75 and a quarter. It was quiet on the domestic news front, and data releases were limited to Q1 construction work done. We saw wet weather impacting private home building, while public works remained strong as governments committed to additional projects. The Australian dollar, however, has benefited from developments in the US. Last week's allegations against President Trump over his firing of FBI Director Comey sparked headlines of impeachment. This sparked a sharp drop in US equities, but since then, the S&P 500 has made daily gains and has made fresh record highs. This global stability helps the risk-sensitive Australian dollar. We also had the FOMC minutes, which said that a hike could be delivered soon. It also provided further information on balance sheet reduction, probably later this year. Markets, however, focused on the more cautious note that members generally judged it would be prudent to await additional information that the first quarter slowdown was transitory. The US dollar weakened, and the Aussie rose almost half a cent in response. Pricing for a Fed June hike is still around 90%. In China, Moody's downgrade of sovereign debt saw the Aussie take a brief hit, down around a quarter percent. Given the close trade ties, the Aussie is often traded as a proxy for China. Iron ore was also down around $3 to around $60 a tonne. China stocks, meanwhile, have risen since the announcement. Next week, the domestic calendar picks up and we see April retail sales on Thursday. This should show a bounce back from March, which was impacted by weather effects. Earlier this year, retail sales was also weighed by aggressive price discounting and store closures. The April update will tell us how soft the sector really is. Q1 private capital expenditure is also due and will help shape first quarter growth forecasts. As part of the release, we also get businesses' investment intentions for the year ahead. Out next week, we also have private credit and building approvals. Next week, we expect the Aussie to trade in a 74 to 75 and a half cent range. We'll speak to you next week.